can hear you. All right, all right. We are, how, we in the how, building now. That's right. Hey, hey, how's it going, man? Uh, all is well, man. I apologize for the tardiness. Oh no, man. That's that's how we do, man. CP time, man. We 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 hey, we expect that, man. That's that's all good. Hey, how how you doing? Nah, nah. That's not. It's that's not something I take pride in, my brother. But uh, okay. I apologize <laughs> to you and all the the, the viewers. So definitely, yeah. So so how you doing? All is well. Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm doing good. It's been a, a a real busy day today. You know, we're right in the middle of um shooting Double Cross season two and uh finishing the second season of Family Business. So it's uh it's been a little busy. Well, I tell you what, with that being said, thank you for, for giving us this time out of your busy schedule to come join us, man, because you one of my favorites. You know what? Me and my my co-host, who's normally on the show with me. Hey, hey, uh, I got a guest co-host today. His name is Montrese. Montrese, say what's up to Darren. What's up, D man? Big, 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 big fan of Stomp the Yard, man. I went to Tuskegee, so man, uh, to you, man. I appreciate you, man. Shout out to you, definitely, Montrese. Blessings to you and your family, and um. And and everybody watching, and again, thank you, Travis. Yeah, no problem, no, no problem. Hey, first of all, I want to say congratulations on the family business, man. I'm a big fan, and though, and I'll be telling everybody that that Ghost from Power better watch his ass because Orlando, <laughs> or, Orlando, he and that's another Ghost coming, man. I, I see, I see the Ghost like, man, you got potential to to to. to well, they, they're two different characters. You know, Ghost has his his style and Orlando has his. And, um, you know, the difference between the both is that we're family and it's a business. So right. there's more than just one head. Whereas in, in the other show, you know, he had to kind of maneuver and, and you know, people he was dealing with, you know, weren't really blood. And um, so this is this is more of a, a, a blood relationship being that it's a family business and uh, you know, family will do anything to protect family as you can see in the, uh, in the second season. Uh, we got a lot of stuff that we're dealing with. You know what? All the characters from family businesses, a fatal attract, fatal uh, affair the other night and KJ was in the opening, was in the opening scene in uh, fatal, fatal affair. Yeah, everybody's doing really yeah, is that how you well. Yeah, every everybody that that's on the show seems to be doing really well and um growing. So it's it's a great uh it's just a, a great place to um to germinate from. You know, um, Javicia, AJ is doing really well. The Sense show on ABC. I got I got Double Cross happening on the UMC. So everybody's doing really well. I'll tell you what, talk about Double Cross. I, I didn't see Double Cross when I was... Talk about wow. Double Cross. The Double Cross series is on the UMC network. It was written by Crystal Gibson, directed by Kristen and Howard Gibson. Howard Gibson. And um, it's it's the hottest show on UMC. It's it's the takeover. It's the Super Bowl champ of UMC. And um, you know, right in the middle of the first season, you know, the fans loved it so much, man. We had two million viewers in three days. Wow. And um, it just kept growing from there. And I played Detective Ryan on the show. And if, and and for those people who don't know about the show, it's about these twins who are like superheroes, but they're also vigilantes. And they they have done something about the child trafficking that, you know, is in their neighborhood. And their youngest sister was kidnapped. So they they decided to grow up and do something about it. One's a doctor and, and one's, a, you know, a street cat. And my character, Detective Ryan, um, is basically on the hunt for them. And so there's a lot of twists and turns. And the second season, man, if you love the first season, the second season is off the hook. So, you know, we, we know that the fans wanted a second season. They got it. 
and uh, we're putting a strong second second season together, man. That that really is is going to be something to to view. Hey, D. Mark, quick question: I, Just with some of the some of the opportunities that you're speaking of, how has the COVID impacted some of your work, man? And being on set in the studio, how's the the COVID kind of impacted some of those things? Well, you know, like every other actor, whether they're, you know, A-list actors, B-list actors, C-list actors, you know, um, stage actors, uh, it, it doesn't matter. They, you know, we were shut down for quite some time for about five months. Um, but, you know, when you do the right, when you do the right thing at the right time, you're not really worried about, you know, about those things. Because uh, if you do the right thing when it's flowing, then, then you'll be all right when it's not flowing. So check it out. You know, you got to learn to uh, invest properly. You got to learn to take care of yourself and and learn to you know think for the future. So so with that being said, so was was the family business season two? Was that shot before the COVID? All that <laughs> all, all that hit. Yeah, we shot season two last year. Okay. And so what people are seeing now is what we shot. You know, at the end of last year, it takes a quite you know quite some time to. Uh, to put the music on it, to edit it, to colorize everything, um, to get it up to speed in order to distribute, you know, on television. So it takes a few months to get that done. And so the stuff that we're filming right now, people will see at the end of the year with, okay. with family business and with Double Cross. Yeah, man, I kind of, I was kind of upset when they released the first, the, what was it, the first six episodes and yeah. So, so when they when 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 they gonna start back up? Yeah, but you know, if we would have put out twenty episodes, y'all would have watched twenty episodes and would have been mad that you don't. For have sure, more. for sure. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. I, I don't, I don't want to. I, I can't get enough of Orlando smacking people around, man. <laughs> man, the, the second, you know, the second, the second half of it, man. I'm gonna tell you, you know how like. We were stomping out people in the first season. The second season, you see, he's gripped up. He's ready to do some damage. And um, and now, you know, we got to protect our brother, you know, Junior, who's going in. Ma's going in. Pop is, you know, at the end of the six episodes, you see they 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 was going at it. Like, the, yeah. the family is raw. <laughs> so, you know, it's, you know, they, they, they bout it. The family is bout it. And, um... So when y'all see these neck and you know second sets, it's getting ready to go even deeper, man. On on many different levels, you know I can't give any spoilers, but I could tell you it's much watch TV. You know what, man? That fur that fur coat that you had on in that one episode, man. You was you you murdered that 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 fur coat, man. <laughs> hey, you know Orlando, you know he created heat. There's more money, more money, more money. But with more money, there's more problems. You know, we had to step the game up. You know, it's like they they the Duncan family. So it was really about representing properly. And it was kind of like in the episode where his father said, what you got on? He said, my coat. He said, what you doing? He said, yeah, but it would be all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all good. It might be a little fashy, but we good. You know what I mean? So it's, right. it's really about people knowing who they are, how they are, when they are, but never where they are. So, you know, it's a very elusive family you know, out of sight, out of mind. And, and it's a, uh, it's a family that's strong and it's a family that's productive. Um, and um, it's one to be reckoned with. And it doesn't matter where it comes from, but when you have a united front, like the Duncans do, you know, they can get through just about anything. Now I got a question for you and I know you probably can't tell me, but I want to know is Vegas, is Vegas getting out of jail this season? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. Listen, I want to see Orlando and Vegas together. Cause, cause. Yo, let me let me tell you. Listen, something. man, ain't nobody. Vegas and Orlando no. want to be together. We want to do some damage together. Trust me. Um, yeah, there's like I said, there's gonna be some surprises. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's that's what's up, man. That's what's up. There's gonna be some surprises, you know. Right now, man, it's it's just really a great time in the world to be creative. I tell people to be creative, you know, with my two characters, you know, Detective Ryan on Double Cross, and and then, 
you know, um, Orlando Duncan on the family business. It really, I really am thankful for all of the people who are watching. I'm really thankful for all the people who are supporting both shows and really just, you know, supporting me and my efforts all these years, man. I mean, people have been rocking with me for 20 years now and uh, as an actor. And, um, and, you know, I let them know, man, I'm just getting started. I, I really I agree. I agree. Just getting started. I, I agree, you know, man. It's, just, it's fun. And, um, you know, we, we got a lot more to go. And I'm excited. And and I got my new T-shirt line, God's Billboard T-shirts. And and there's great support from the fans on the T-shirts. Um, so I'm very thankful about that. People understand the movement. They know that we have the same principles and, and, and really the same mindset of, of getting through all of this and being stronger, you know, at the end of it. And uh, so I ask everybody to please join the God's Billboard T-shirts movement. You could go to God's Billboard T-shirts.com or go on my Instagram page, God's Billboard T-shirts. I'll tell you what, uh, shoot me, shoot me that link and I'm going to post it on all our, our social media so we can help you out with that. Okay. Absolutely. You know what? Uh, you've come a long way since Lim on Soul Food, man. Oh, we love that character too, man. Hey, did you uh, did you get Makai Pfeiffer's blessing on that role? I did. You know, <laughs> you know, Makai was a real good friend of mine at the time, and you know, Melinda Williams was married to him in real life at the time, and I was playing Lim, so that was strange for me. But, you know, Makai <laughs> gave me his blessings and told me to do my thing. And he passed the limb torch and I took it on. And so this year, you know, June 28th marked the, the 20th year anniversary of Soul Food, the series. So we're all blessed. And, you know, Tracy Edmonds and Felicia Henderson, they're talking about doing a reboot, you know, of the series or maybe even doing a Christmas movie. So there's still more Soul Food to come. That's what's up, man. You, uh, so are they going to do like a, um, you know, is it going to be anything celebrating a 20-year anniversary, like a special or anything like that? Well, we were in Forbes magazine and we did a, a action to celebrate it with uh, Trayvon Martin's mom, who's actually running for council in Miami-Dade. So we lent ourselves and we raised $25,000 for her um, and, and her efforts. Um, so she can move into position as a councilman in Miami-Dade County. So we spent the uh, the day giving back. You know, I want to go back, man, because a lot of people don't know that you're actually a chore choreograph. Chore how you say the chore choreographer? Is that how you say Choreographer. You're right. Choreographer. New Kids on the Block, Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, High Five, 98 Degree Spice Girls. You are you. Yeah. you I, I, got, I got to tell you this, because everybody makes the same mistake, and whoever did this, shame on them. But I choreograph for everybody that you just mentioned, except the Backstreet Boys. Okay. I can't take somebody else's credit. But I did do NSYNC, and that's what I won the MTV Music Award for. Yo, My yo. <laughs> oh, he flexing. He flexing. You know what I'm saying? He, that's right. Yeah. So. He he flexed it on him, man. Congratulations on that, man. Talk about being a choreographer, man. I mean, what, what made you get into, were you were you like, uh, were you interested in dancing? Is that how you got into choreography? Well, yeah, I was, I was always a dancer as a child. And when I grew up, man, I was so inspired by Michael Jackson and James Brown and Prince. And, but really it was, it was Michael Jackson, you know, that, that really was at the forefront that I wanted to work with. And then I got the opportunity in 1995 to work with him on many different levels, you know, the MTV Music Awards, the the um, HBO special that wind up not happening, going with him to Hungry Budapest to shoot the history video, Lady of Soul Awards. I, I worked with him for about a year, so my dream came true. But but really, it was working with Michael Jackson that that kind of led me in that direction of, of wanting to be a choreographer because I, I wanted to dance with him, you know, and I wanted to create. That's de that's definitely dope, man. Let's talk about Stump the Yard, man, and and Columbus Short. I noticed that he's a choreographer as well. You are, are y'all good? Y'all good? <laughs> yeah, you know Columbus. Columbus, you know, he's like what you call a young bull. You know, he wanted to wild out, you know, with his mouth and stuff, and 
he got himself in trouble, as you can see. And, uh, you know, I looked at him like a little brother. And, and uh, you know, while he was on um, on the show on ABC um, uh, with Kerry Washington, Scandal, right. you know, he got himself fired. He got himself, you know, in trouble a lot. And I tried to help him out. And, you know, he has substance abuse problems. So he went to Twitter and, and, and wild out on Twitter. So that's why people thought we had beef. But I don't, I don't have beef with no youngsters. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, right. Not, you know, not, not Orlando. He don't want it with Orlando Bloom. You, you, don't you, know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? It was like, it was like I, I, had to, I had to let him wild out on Twitter and do what he did. And, but, you know, he got himself in trouble. And, you know, I just hope he's back on the right track, man, because he's a very talented, you know, kid. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's just really talented. So I, I hope he, he gets himself and his life together. You know what I mean? So God bless him. I hope so too, man. I have any type of uh, controversy. Go ahead, go ahead. No, it was just what Dan was speaking to, you know, putting the bar back on track and, you know, not really taking being a professional in it and not really getting messy about it and keep staying all the way polished. We oftentimes see that, and you know, at your level, man, it's about polish. What I look like knocking this person down. But you also talked about like, yeah. like people rocking with you, B, and definitely been rocking with you. Actually, I'm a big fan of uh, the Ernie Davis story, man. And people oh, don't yeah. Talk about oh, that. yeah. Yeah, the Jim Express. Brown. Jim Brown, yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the Express. You know, again, man, I've just been so blessed, man. Blessings just keep flowing. They keep flowing. They've been flowing today. You know, I, I'm, I know I'm a blessed person. And um, it's, you know, Jim Brown was pivotal in me getting that role. He called the director and told the director that, you know, I was the one that he thought should play me. I mean, to, to play him. And, um, you know, Jim Brown saying that, I mean, what else is there to say? Man, the man Mike told drop. Himself. <laughs> and so at that point, as soon as I got the role to play Jim Brown in the Express, the Ernie Davis story, Man, I started going to the gym that very day, man. I had to put on 30 pounds of muscle wow. to play gym. So, you know, I took it very, very seriously. And I was honored, honored, honored to play the legendary, historical, my mentor, Jim Brown. Wow. And so I'm just very, very thankful that, you know, that that is historical now. That, you know, it's on film, so it's forever. So... I love and I appreciate and I'm honored that Jim Brown, you know, saw me as fit to playing him. Yeah. Did you did you did you play any ball when you was in high school? College? I did. I played football. I was wide receiver um in high school. So, you know, and I play football now. I love the game. Are are you really six two? I didn't know you was that tall. Are you really six two? You know. The internet says so. I, I'm more like six eight in my mind. <laughs> when I seen that, when I said, "Is he six two? He don't look like he's six two. I'm more like six eight in my mind. <laughs> okay, we we gonna leave it at that. We gonna leave it at that. Uh, I tell you what. Uh, besides uh, uh, double cross, you got anything else coming up? Yeah, you know we're doing the um, second um, black coffee movie. Uh, we should be getting into that um, with Mark Harris around December. So Black Coffee 2 is coming out. So uh, look for that in 2021. Uh, again, um, the second half of the second season of The Family Business will be out. And uh, we're shooting uh, the second season of Double Cross. And so, you know, the plate is full. And I have a lot of, uh, you know, scripts that I'm reading right now. Um, as you can imagine, they, they flow in, but I, I got to go through all the scripts, you know, um, to make sure that it's something that I want to do. And it's something that I believe in. Um, cause we get a lot of scripts, but they're not all as good as people think they are. So, you know, a lot of times they have to go through the, uh, the chains to get to you and the ones that make it through, then I give those, you know, the time and opportunity to, um, to read. So, but there's definitely a lot more coming down um, 
down the uh, the lane, the Darren Henson lane, absolutely. As well as the God's Billboard T-shirts that we, uh, you know, we, we we trying to dress everybody and be a billboard for God right now. You know what I want to see a Darren Henson do? I'm a comic book head, Darren. I want I want to see you play a superhero. Listen, man. Well, you, well, you know, you, you said that, but it's interesting. Whenever people say that, because they've been saying it a lot. People have been talking about me as Green Lantern right now. Yes, Honestly, yes. Green Lantern. That's been going around. I would love to play the Green Lantern. John Stewart. And, you know, I, I also did Tekken. So I was raving in Tekken. I've seen that. I've so seen if that. You've, so if you've ever seen the martial arts film Tekken, and, you know, Raven is kind of a superhero himself, you know, right, in the right. video game world. So so I, I've, I've done it once. I'm just ready to do it again. Yeah, I want to see you do that, man. I'm making I'm making a case for my man Darren to be, to be in the MCU, be an Avenger. Hey, let's, well, hey, let's do that, John Stewart. That's right, Green John Lantern. Stewart. That's what's up. Hey, well, Darren. Hey, man, thanks for your time. I, I knew you was busy, man. I really appreciated you taking time out to do this, man. Uh, it really mean a lot to me in the show, man. So, so, hey, man, take care, man, and stay healthy, okay? I appreciate you. God bless y'all. Peace and blessings. Right. One. What's up, Trees? Man, wow, 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 was, man. You, you do your homework, Trav, Oh, man. yeah, I do, man. I do, man. I, I try to be professional with it. I, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big researcher. I believe in research, man. You don't just, you don't just go into things, man. You, you get ready for them. You get ready for them, man. So. And what I like about the brother, man, and so many people that uh, you know, but the brother has a very humble and spirit. He was just excited to be on the Trav show as Trav having him on the show, man. Exactly. That's huge, man. Yeah, you know what? But you know, we, you know, we, 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 we starting to build a little, a little resume, and uh, and we got a big week coming up. Like tomorrow on tomorrow's show, we got we got Fabo, you know, geeked up, geeked up. Come on, man! <laughs> I went to the TV, man. I represent the Black College at that time, man. Geeked up, and Fabo D Four L was the. I'm excited about that uh, because that was that was my era of Black College, right? D4L, right. Uh, was by far one of the one of the crowd favorites in Black College from all walks of, of life. So I'm excited to check out that show, man. And then on Wednesday, Nook, if you bug, Nook, if you bug, and uh, Little J on the track. Come on, man, rock your hips. We got we got a crime mob on Wednesday. Little J, he gonna be joining us on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, we got a double. We got a double interview, man. We got uh, JJ Fad, and then we got Positive K. You know, uh, I got a man. What's your man got to do with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then JJ Fad, <laughs> super, super. I'm super right mad at you, man. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, you know, uh, I put together a nice little uh, schedule for this week, and you know, blessings to everyone that that agreed to do it. So, uh, so yeah, you guys stayed for sure. And uh, for some great interviews, and uh, hey, Trees, man, thanks for coming on, man. Oh, I love you, man. I love you, man, and, and uh, I love everything you do in the community, man. You, you uh, I definitely uh, is a, I'm a big fan, man. So, uh, and thanks for coming on, man. I know it was last minute, you know, but 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 I knew you could do the job, <laughs> man. I'm on the Trav and Hughes show, man. Stop it, mic drop, peace and strength, King. That that's what's up, man. Well, I tell you what, man. Hey, take care, man. Hey, stay safe, man. And hopefully you can tune in the rest of the week. All right. Thank you, brother. Uh-huh. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Peace. Hey, yeah, that was uh that was definitely an exciting show. Uh I was really uh excited to have uh Darren on, man. I'm a big fan of the uh of the family business. So uh so that was an honor to have him on. And uh once again, thanks to uh to Montrese. Uh, Montrese uh, is on the uh, Juice 107.3. He has a Saturday morning show uh, at 11 a.m., I believe, 10 or 11 a.m. on uh, on Saturdays on the Juice 107.3. So you can catch him there. And uh, and like I talked about in the beginning, um, our co-host Q, he called me today. He's doing great. Uh, he told me he had
on Wednesday. Uh, uh, initially, he was looks like it's going to be at the earliest, maybe six weeks, because he he has to rehab and and uh, and get his stuff together. But hey, we're gonna keep it popping. We're gonna keep it popping. Uh, hopefully, uh, our co-host, our our substitute co-host, uh, Major, uh, be back tomorrow and the rest of the week. Uh, uh, if not, uh, we'll see if we can get tree. Uh, yeah, both of them are awesome, so I'll be. Uh, but hey, want to thanks every thank everyone for tuning in, and uh, and like I said, make sure you join us tomorrow. We got guest interview with uh, with. Fe I remember geeked up, and uh, and bet you can't do it like me. Bow, bow, and he got a new he got a new song and a new dance called Jump him about that we're going to talk about that and then on wednesday we got a uh, crime mob little j from uh crime mob is going to be be joining us and uh and on thursday once again we got uh jj fad sassy c from jj fad and and we got a positive k uh is the second second half of the, of the double on thursday hollywood henderson remember robert henderson joined me before uh i think he'll be back on thursday he said he wanted to come back for the positive k JJ Fad show. So hopefully we'll have him back. Uh, uh, I'll probably uh, uh, and I'll let you guys know tomorrow. But on that note, hey, thanks for tuning in. See y'all tomorrow. Bam!